That was great. Thanks, Ashley. On behalf of Friends School, I'm so pleased to recognize alumnus Dr. John Humphreys, class of 1976, for all that he contributed to his career in research and medicine, and also as a volunteer for Friends School. One of the finest students in the very academically strong class of 1976, John graduated from Middlebury College and then went on to receive his medical degree from the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. There he was part of the Osler Medical Residency Program, whose motto, equa animitas, meaning imperturbability or coolness and presence of mind under all circumstances. And each Friday, John wore a tie with that motto, which we saw in the video, emblazoned upon it, as is, as is the tradition of the Osler program graduates, to remind himself of the important lessons learned during his training. John chose a career in research and development in the field of hematology and spent 10 years at the University of Virginia, winning a fellowship and rising to an associate professorship specializing in the treatment of hemophilia and other bleeding and clotting disorders. He then moved to the private sector where he pioneered aerosol treatments for both emphysema and cystic fibrosis and later worked in drug development, focusing his efforts to create new treatments for hepatitis C among other disorders. John's impact on Friends School and his fellow alumni is every bit as outstanding. Through several years and multiple reunion cycles, he was an extremely successful Friends School class agent. In 2011, he was instrumental in driving record class attendance for a 35th reunion, historically one of the most challenging years in terms of participation. In 2016, reprising his role as the, uh, one of the organizers for the 40th reunion, the class had record attendance yet again, and John championed a significant class gift, a scholarship in a deceased classmate's honor. The scholarship supported a minority student who had been displaced by a ravaging storm in their home Caribbean nation, and the student was also the, uh, the nephew of a fellow alum. As classmate Keith Tabotsnik shared, our entire class owes John so much as he was truly the glue that kept us together over the years. And his organization of our reunions was second to none and have become highlights for all of us. From my heart, I thank you, John, and will miss you dearly. John's seemingly effortless ability to keep his classmates informed on all matters pertaining to the class, the school, and the world at large was unique. It is hard to imagine how many lives John touched improved and saved over his distinguished lifetime of healthcare achievement and dedication to the class and school he so generously served. His wife, Anne, is accepting the award on John's behalf and would like to share some remarks. Welcome, Anne. You'll be taken off mute uh, momentarily. Hi. Um, I just want to say uh, Baltimore Friends really meant a lot to John. Uh, you can tell from all the items, he saved the friend's school items he brought with him as we've moved from house to house, that the uh, varsity tennis award that he won, he, he brought that from house to house, it went from box to box. He held on to the things that had special meanings for him. And they reminded him of all the people who influenced him um, in his early life in, at friend's school, 
and um, also those who influenced his career path in medicine. Uh, when he came to airline travel, he was a three million miler. So he, he traveled on quite, quite a few airplanes and he was a master of the airline schedules and conference calls. Um, in, in all those travels, he, he made lifelong friends with, with colleagues from around the world. And I just want to say, I appreciate all the people who are participating in this event. And I'm sure he would have been very pleased and proud to receive this award. So thank you for this special tribute. That's great. Thank you, Anne. Thanks for the words uh, for being with us tonight and for sharing with us.